Our story started three years ago, and I pray from that moment that it would be you. I have imagined this day since I was a little girl, and I can't believe it's finally here. Paige is definitely one of a kind, and I say that with all the love in the world, and wouldn't change one single thing about her. There isn't a person I have ever met that matches up to who she is. She has the biggest heart and wants the people in her life to be happier than she is all the time. And if anyone is deserving of a long, happy, love-filled life, it's Paige. I can't believe today's actually here. I just want to start off by saying that no matter what I write, my love for you cannot be put into words, but I'll give it my best shot. It seems like just yesterday, I was ruining your girl's day at the winery so I could ask you to spend the rest of your life with me. And up until today, that was the best day of my life. Today I know that no matter what happens in life, I got this one thing right. Today will be my biggest blessing as you truly are the single greatest thing that's ever happened to me. And to say that I'll be marrying my best friend be a huge understatement. I can never thank God enough for bringing you back into my life. He had a plan and he knew I needed you and that you were the one for me. He knew I needed you during my time with cancer. As much as I wanted to push everyone away at that time, you stayed no matter what. You held my hand every step of the way. You were by my side through the ups and downs, surgeries, hospital stays, and recovery at my parents' house. You taught me how to see the light at the end of the tunnel. He had a plan all along, and I will forever be grateful for that. I'm sure that even before they met, they probably prayed that they would meet a good husband or a good wife, a good spouse. So it's not too far-fetched to think that in some way God brought them together. And God has brought them together at this sacred moment. I, Brandon, take you, Paige, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Paige, take you, Brandon, to be my husband. I, Paige, take you, Brandon, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. <laughs> to love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I don't believe everything happens for a reason, but I do believe it's possible to find meaning in everything that happens. That quote reminds me of the time a little over two years ago. when it was the nail on the head for me realizing Paige had found her person. Paige found out she had cancer, which she no longer has, thank God. Um, and I remember the feeling I got as her best friend hearing the message, and I couldn't imagine the feeling of her parents and the love of her life hearing that horrendous news. I got to be there for a few minutes one day at the hospital, but I remember leaving in my car that day and wishing I could have been there for more. But I knew she was in good hands and she had her second best friend and he wasn't going to leave her side. Paige, take this ring. Paige, take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Brandon, receive this ring. Brandon, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride.
Paige and Brandon. Yeah, I'm right behind you. <laughs> uh, you never know what life's going to throw at you. Hard times, good times, hopefully it'll be more good. Uh, rough patches, smooth patches. But together, that's the good news. Together you'll be able to handle anything life throws at you. And you have each other for the rest of your lives. So here's to Mr. and Mrs. Fishburne. crazy to think that country music, friends, and of course wine slushies made something this special become reality. You've given me a purpose in life. you made me want to be a better man, a loving husband, and hopefully one day an unbelievable father to go along with the unbelievable mother I know you'll be. Paige, you're a wonderful woman who deserves a wonderful husband, and I won't stop until I figure out what, and I won't stop until I get to the bottom of what's happened here. <laughs> But really, you're amazing, and I love seeing how happy you two are together. words to you tonight, Brandon and Paige, are make tomorrow better than today and make the next day better than tomorrow so that decades from now you won't have to settle for remembering the happiest day of your life because you will be too busy living it. You guys deserve nothing but happiness. So tonight we raise our glasses not to the happiest day of your life but to the first of many to come.